Sophie the Oily English Bulldog is going to join us in a little bit and today we're going to talk about dental health for our pets and there are so many different products we could use from the Young Living line just to help support the dental health of our pets and I'm actually going to talk about four categories. Our first category are going to be the vitality oils. So the more these animals are able to ingest essential oils that are labeled vitality oils, the more their digestive health improves. The second category we're gonna talk about is the Thieves line of products. And I'm gonna show you how to use more than just the toothpaste for dental health. Our next category is gonna be the Animal Sense line, which again, now they have these great dental pet chews. We're gonna talk about how to use those. And then our supplement line and how supplements also support the oral cavity of our pets. So first, really simple, why do we wanna support the dental health of our pets? Well, one, we want their teeth to survive, right? But the second reason is that the more bacteria that grows in the mouth of our pets, the more at risk the rest of the body. They swallow that bacteria or even inhale that bacteria all the time and it can contribute to living life below the line. So again, it's all about wellness. It's all about maintaining living life above the line and creating a healthy picture for our pets. So the simplest way to support the health of our pets is by using essential oils. So would we put an essential oil right into our pet's water? Absolutely not. Under no circumstances should we put essential oils in the water of our pets. Why? Because essential oils float to the top. And so when our pet goes to drink, they're gonna go ahead and drink a big bunch of essential oils all at once. And that can actually burn the inside of the mouth. So people, we do it all the time. We put it in our water bottle, we shake it up, we drink it, it's fantastic. With animals, we have to use something that's already emulsified, meaning the essential oils are already emulsified in something so that they will go into the water and be in all of the water instead of floating to the top. So guess what? We have the perfect product, and that's the Thieves mouthwash. And in a water dish about this big, we want to put about half a teaspoon of Thieves mouthwash right into the water over done now it's emulsified it's not going to float to the top it's safe for them to drink and every time they go to get water we're promoting their oral cavity health and it also keeps the water nice fresh and clean the second thing that we want to look at is how else could we deliver essential oils to our pets? So what I love with the Vitality line is I can actually integrate them into different treats. So I love this product. It's nice and hard when they chew on it. It's going to mechanically have action on our teeth. But also what I put inside can help the oral cavity also. So what I do is I take their dog food and in the case of my pets, of course, they're eating raw pet food, they're eating grain-free pet food, etc. This isn't a discussion for that at this time. But I'll mix essential oils right in with it. As long as it has a fatty component, which helps emulsify the essential oils. So in the case of this one, I use ginger vitality oil. And then what I do is I actually put it in the freezer it's ready to go and when I leave I give it to the dog and they will chew on this for hours trying to get all this food out from the inside and that puts a lot of action on their teeth but they're also getting essential oils at the same time another way is to take a treat and we can take an essential oil of our choice so in this case I'm taking ginger and we'll just put a drop on there and you can see it and absolutely just sucks it up because again, this is all natural animal organ meat. So it's going to take up the essential oil. 
or I've even used biscuits. And you want to make sure that it is completely absorbed into the biscuit. No shininess is left. You want to make sure it's all absorbed into the biscuit before you give it as a treat. So different Vitality line oils that I might use just for dental health are going to be cardamom, ginger, coriander, fennel, peppermint, spearmint, clove. Again, these are all going to be essential oils that help with our digestive health and vitality. And a lot of these we know for that from the culinary arts. Our next part that we're going to look at is the Thieves line. So I like to use the Thieves toothpaste as the mechanism for application of brushing my dog's teeth. Now, my dogs don't like me to put a toothbrush in there. So what I'll do is I'll just rub it on there with my finger and we'll show you that later or even use a washcloth so I can use a little bit of mechanical action. We've already talked about the thieves mouthwash in the water or we might put it into a spray bottle and with the spray bottle I might put it on my hand and put that in the mouth and we even have the thieves spray and this is great to travel with. The other thing from the animal line now is that we have the dental animal uh, scents, dental chews. And these are fantastic. They're designed to help promote dental health in our animals. Now, because they're full of grain, my personal opinion is that you shouldn't give more than one or two a, a week because, again, that's too much grain for our pets. But, again, it's great options that we have now. And then, lastly, we're going to talk about the supplement line. And the supplement line is because we know that the breath of our animal and the health of the tissues supporting those teeth are directly related to the health of the digestive tract. And so some of the supplements that are going to support the digestive tract are also going to support dental health. In Chinese medicine, we talk about um, a mouth that isn't as optimal as being stomach heat. So again, we know if we treat the digestive tract, there'll be less fermentation and everybody will feel better and smell better. So what could we use? Well, one is we could use the Ninja Red and every pet should be on this. Our second product is Multigreens. And have you ever noticed your dog goes out and eats grass? Well, why don't you just give it to them in a better form? Digest and cleanse. And Sulfurzyme. Sulfurzyme supports the healthy environment of connective tissue. And certainly teeth need to stay connected, correct? And then lastly, enzymes. So this happens to be Allerzyme, but you can look at the Mighty Zymes from the Kid Line um, or even the L, uh, Juba Tone for the liver health. We could be looking at Detoxzyme, Essentialzyme. Again, Enzymes help break down the food. And if the food is not fermenting, the mouth is healthier. And then lastly, we can look at probiotics. So the Life, the Life 9 is the best product to be using there. So again, the more we support the digestion, the better we support the mouth. So what we're going to do is we'll be back in just a minute and we'll have Sophie, the oily English bulldog here, to help demonstrate a few of these techniques. Hi, welcome back. It's Dr. Nancy with Sophie the Oily English Bulldog. And now we're gonna demonstrate a few of those little techniques I just talked about. So first off, how could we brush our dog's teeth? There's lots of products out there. Do you know what the simplest way to brush our dog's teeth? Is to take a little washcloth, put a little bit of water on it, so in this case, it's just that thieves water. And I literally could just use that uh, application of the thieves mouthwash in the water and just come in here. Again, she's smelling it. That's what that reaction is. And then just rub. Only the outside of the mouth. That's it. Don't try to get inside because you're going to get bit. So again, know your dog, know your cat. The second method is just use your finger. These aren't big mouths. We can use a little bit of toothpaste. 
because of the baking soda and the toothpaste, it can act a little bit mechanically on the enamel. And it also places the product on the teeth. Thank you, Sophie. So you put the product on and then I spread the product out because I don't want to accidentally get this product on the nose or on the eyes. So I spread that out. Now that's enough product to do this whole mouth plus. So I'm gonna just use my finger. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna let her smell it so she knows what's happening. Yeah, we've done this before, sweetie. And then I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna rub her teeth. Good girl. I know. And all the way back and all the way back. That's it, yum, perfect. Another product you could use is the Thieve Spray. I know, the Thieve Spray. Or something that you've made up yourself into a spray bottle. Okay, can we sit? Put a little bit in my hand, so I just sprayed it in. Let her smell it. There. And then I just rub that in her mouth. Her tongue is going to spread it around. And then remember we talked about our treats that we've already put the essential oil on. There you go. So thank you for joining us at this time and we look forward to seeing you next month.